welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video that just kind of took over the internet and I was definitely planning on filming it but then I saw so many YouTubers make this video comparing the ColourPop Yes Please palette against the Natasha Denona Sunset palette and you guys know if you've been watching my channel for a while, the Natasha Denona palette is on its way out of my eyeshadow collection. I am planning on returning this because honestly, I just can't justify keeping this. I don't like Natasha Denona eyeshadows. That is the conclusion we have come to. I bought a five pan palette from her ages ago when she was just starting out. And if you guys watch my review on this palette, you will see me talking about that. But her formula has changed and I think it's so sketchy because the shelf life on that particular palette that I have is six months and on this it's 24 months so I don't know if everyone's aware that she's made all these changes to her products and made it better or I don't know enough about makeup to know how people go about doing that safely but anyway I just personally don't like her eyeshadows and this palette I'm not gonna lie the colors just call my name I'm so sad because it's so hard to get a hold of I think it's pretty much sold out everywhere now I just I can't justify it it's so expensive and this palette by ColourPop is literally almost like one seventh the price of the Natasha Denona palette. So I really think it's crazy. And to be honest, guys, when ColourPop first came out with their shadows, I really wasn't impressed. I bought a few and I was like, eh. You know what, I think they should have just stuck to the Super Shock shadows, done what they were good at. Since I got this palette and I got the I Love Sarah E collection, I have been loving ColourPop pressed palettes and pressed shadows. I can't wait for the collection that's coming out on July 13th. The Rose collection they're doing um, like with Karuchi or whatever her name is. I don't even know who she is. I just love the look of that palette. So I can't wait to get my hands on it. Hopefully it does not sell out. I'm not really gonna go over like about this palette because I already reviewed it. Um, but let's talk about the ColourPop Yes Please palette now. This is a pressed powder palette with matte and metallic shades. There are 0.85 grams in each of these little pans here. So these are smaller than the regular ColourPop pan, um, but they still hold enough product, I think. ColourPop really prides itself on being kind of like very trendy. Think of them as like the Forever 21 of makeup. They don't want you to keep using the same thing. They're very trendy, they're on trend, and they keep their products low price, which I think is great because makeup does change quite often. Right now, everyone is doing sunset trend, like sunset palettes, sunset. Sunset is like coming out of my eyeballs. Lorac just announced that they're doing the unzip palettes. Not only are they doing one, they're doing three unzip palettes with like that sunset theme. So really sunset palettes are so, so popular. I would say Natasha Denona was definitely one of the first to like call it the sunset palette, but we've seen so many palettes with those reds, those oranges, those brown tones. Um, so I don't think the sunset trend is anything new. They just stuck a new fancy shiny name on it and now it's a trend. You know, I'm okay with paying $16 for this palette. So if you guys have not been able to get your hands on this, I would 100% recommend getting your hands on this. Hopefully if they restock this again, this video will help you decide that you need to get this palette. So okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the swatches. So what we're gonna do is try and swatch similar shades in the palette so first one is this nudie shade it's called full zip which is a matte warm ivory this is one i would typically use as a brow bone highlight now the natasha denona palette doesn't really have one that is good for lighter skin um this one i think would be very suitable for many different skin tones next shade in this palette is called big cocktails this shade right here and big cocktails is described as a matte orange shade so that is a swatch of the ColourPop one it's so powdery but they blend really well and then this would be in the natasha denona palette there is a orange matte shade called horizon so i'm going to swatch those two together they're pretty much identical shades if you can see that hopefully I can't tell in the viewfinder but hopefully you guys can see that okay so next shade in the ColourPop palette is gonna be Champs which is a matte pale peachy nude and that's one 
again, I think would be beautiful on the brow bone. And then on the Natasha Denona palette, there's a shade called Bermuda, which is a matte peach. Again, I think these are identical. Isn't that crazy? I hope you guys are getting a look. So, so far we have two that work and I've swatched three shades. Next shade is Bling and Bling is a metallic rush shade. Ooh, look at that pigmentation. Are you kidding me? And then I would compare that to Atmosphere in the Natasha Denona palette. Very, very close. Not identical. Um, the bling shade is more of a red, and in Natasha Denona, it's more of a bronzy shade. But I still think they're very close. Okay, so now I'm going to focus on this middle row. So the first shade, I gotta get this right, this is so complicated, is I believe Louie, which is a metallic duochrome red with a gold flip. I can definitely see the gold flip. So I'm going to swatch that. Blend that in, it's beautiful. And then in Natasha Denona, there's a shade called Mor Morgana, and it's definitely the same. So there they are, identical. Next, um, in the ColourPop palette, we have Butter Cake, and Butter Cake is described as a metallic pale yellow gold, and there is a swatch. And then in the Natasha Denona, we have Sundays which I would describe as very similar. So here's what I don't like about the Natasha Denona palette is the chunky glitter. Just messy. So hard to work with. I think the tones are pretty similar here. I mean, even if they're not identical, I mean, 16 bucks versus 129. Even if you bought three other eyeshadows from ColourPop, you wouldn't be spending that much, you know, to make up the difference. Okay, and next we're gonna swatch Spoiled. And Spoiled is described as a matte brick red. Super pretty shade. I love the color. And then Natasha Denona has Ponji. Definitely more reddish. I think the ColourPop shade is more brick. But I think they're still close enough. You know, on your eye, you're probably not going to be able to tell the difference. Let's be, let's be real here. Next we're going to um, next we're going to swatch GNO, which is a beautiful matte burnt orange my favorite kind of shades <laughs> and i would say that looks a lot like sinai oh my gosh i haven't actually practiced this like review guys and i haven't watched any of the comparison videos because well that's not true i watch kathleen lights but i can't remember so this i'm like literally winging it i'm literally swatching just based on like looking at this color and looking at this one so it's pretty mind-blowing stuff. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna do the last row. I had to stop in the middle and take some pictures because I wanted to put them on Instagram because I can't believe how close these are. But next I'm gonna swatch Mischief, which is this beautiful yellow from ColourPop. And I'm gonna swatch that against the Natasha Denona yellow, which is called Soul. Look at that. Aren't those identical? Like, are you shitting me? See that? Sorry, I have swatches. I should. I mean, the ColourPop one is almost like a little bit brighter. Let me try this again because yellows. And I gotten so tan recently. No difference, if you ask me. That's crazy. Next is the shade Note to Self, which is part of their permanent line. It's described as a matte, warm caramel shade. And I don't really think. There's something exactly like it in the Natasha Denona palette, so I'm just going to swatch that for you and show it to you. It's right here. It might be hard to see because I am so brown right now. And then we have the shade Chauffeur, which is described as a metallic duochrome bright orange with a gold flip. And Natasha Denona has a shade called Madeirin. Madeirin? I don't know. Look at that. ColourPop, Natasha Denona. Swipe, swipe. Fucking identical. Isn't that crazy? You can't tell me you can tell the difference. Okay, maybe you can tell the difference, but is it worth it? That's what I want to know. Next, we're going to swatch French Kiss, which is the last shade. And that is described as a matte deep red brown. 
super pretty. And I'm gonna swatch that against Volcano, I think I would probably say is what it's looking closest to for me. Boom, the same, literally crazy. Okay guys, that is it for all the swatches. So let's go ahead and talk about which one you should get. So like I said, guys, I did not practice this video. I saw one video that compared the two. It was Kathleen Light's video, but I saw that video probably almost a month or maybe even like two weeks ago, I can't really quite remember, but since then, I've seen so many people on my subscription list do this video. I almost contemplated not doing it, but I was like, you know what, I have both palettes, and I was planning on doing this video anyway, so I decided to do it, and honestly, after you've seen the swatches, I feel like it's a no-brainer. The Sunset Palette is just so expensive. If you're balling on a budget, you just need to get the ColourPop palette. I think this is all you need. There's nothing in this palette that this palette doesn't take care of. Like, as far as, like, all your essentials, the ColourPop palette has it. And, you know, you're not going to feel bad because if you forget to use this, like, I will in, like, two, three weeks because that's how the Makeup Junkie cycle works. Let's be real, everyone, most people watching this already probably have their own YouTube channel. And as a fellow YouTuber, I know how many palettes I have. And then the next big thing comes out and you forget all about one of your favorite palettes. So for me, it's a no-brainer. Even though you get basically three times the amount of product in this palette per shadow, I'm never going to go through this palette. It's just not going to happen if you're a makeup artist. I can maybe see you going through this, but you could still buy like five of these palettes and continue to use them. Would not have spent as much money as you did on the Natasha Denona palette. So that one is definitely going back. This one is such a hit. I've also seen videos people comparing the highlighter palette that they came out with with the Nicole Guerrero palette. So let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in seeing that. I did feel like it reminded me of the Nicole Guerrero palette when I did the unboxing video. So if you wanna watch my hot mess unboxing, I will link it up above. It literally was a hot mess, but um, yeah, if you're interested in a Nicole versus ColourPop comparison, let me know in the comments. I hope you found this video useful and entertaining. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.